submission so far. I want to give opportunity to those who are against to speak. Majalisar Duku King Kasargana ta aminci da kudirin doka na komitin kula da ayyukan kundin sarin mulkin kasa da dokokin kasa akan amincewa da dokar da ta tanadi yin aure sakanin maza da mata da kudirin doka na sara iyali da ya dace da al'adun al'umma bayan an karanta wannan kudirin doka a Karo na Biyo a gaban majalisar dokoki a ranar Laruba biyar ga wannan wata na yuli to provide for proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian family values proscribe lgbtq plus and related activities proscribe propaganda of advocacy for or promotion of lgbtq plus and related activities provide for the protection of and support for children persons who are victims or accused of plus and related activities and other persons and related matters Baya ankaranta wannan kudirin doka a Karo na Biyo sai mataimakin shugaban majalisar dokoki na Biyo wato honorable andrew amaku esiyama ya baiwa mambobin majalisar dokoki dama da bude musu fagen so matattaunawa da musayar ra'ayoyi akan wannan kudirin dokar a cikin mambobin majalisar dokokin da suka bayyanar da ra'ayoyin su har da ministan kula da kananan hukumomi da raya karkara honorable dan bochwe wanda bai yi wata wata ba ya sifanta ayyukan yammadigo da liwadi da masu sauya halittar jinsin su wato LGBTQ+ a masayin rashin hankali da hauka da yin rayuwa da irin wannan mummunar dabi'a a sakanin al'umma a ra'ayinsa ya kamata a kara tabbatar da aikin sa ido daga bangaren hukumomi a fadin kasar Ghana bayan amincewa da wannan kudirin dokar zuwa cikikken doka a kasar Ghana Anasa bangaren mataimakin shugaba mai sawa tarwa ta bangaren yan adawa a gidan majalisar dokoki Honorable Ahmed Ibrahim ya jinjinawa mazanjiya da suka yi tofin Allah ya sine akan gudanar da harakokin yammadigo da liwadi a cikin kasar Ghana inda yayi misali da sohon shugaban cocin Pentecost Aposto Opoku Onyina da sakatare mai ikon zartarwa na gamayyar kungiyoyi dake yin tir da yammadigo da liwadi da kira ga sara iyali yanda ya dace da al'adun al'umma Lawia Moses Fu Amoni I will therefore have a singular honor to put the question and the question is as many as are in favor of the motion listed in today's order paper 18 item listed 18 all those in favor of the motion say aye all those against say no Honorable members, it is obvious the eyes have it. The motion is adopted. Sai dai an samu rashin fahimta inda aka tafka Zazafar Muhawara a sakanin yar majalisar dokokin mazabar Ablai Kuma ta Yamma wato Honorable Esla Ousu Ekufu da dan majalisar dokoki mai wakiltar mazabar Tamale ta Sakiya Honorable Murtala Ibrahim Muhammad akan sahihanci ko rashin sahihancin wannan batun Everybody to be clear that none is against the bill. Then we move on. Akarashidi dan majalisar dokoki mai wakiltar mazabar Fomina ya aminci da gabatar da wannan kudirin dokar zuwa mataki na gaba wato mataki na uku na sake karanta wannan kudirin dokar a Karo na uku kafin tafka muhawara akan wannan kudirin dokar. The promotion 
of proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian value bill 2021 is accordingly read a second time. Yes, leadership. Mahmoud Abdel Momin, Gaskia Plus News, Accra. Garin Salga na daya daga cikin garuruwa masu cike da dabbin tarihi da al'adu a kasar Ghana amma kuwa yin kaura zuwa manyan birane tare da wasu fadace fadace da yawan sabani wadanda mafi akasarin lokuta siyasa ke haifarwa na son mai da hannu agogo baya a kokarin da ake yi wajen tabbatar da ci gaba na wannan garin hakan ya sa wasu matasa sun shirya jerin wasanni irin na yankin Hausa a kokarin su na neman farfado da martabar garin jerin wasanni dai da aka gudanar a makon da ya gabata a lokacin da ake shan bukukuwan sallan layya sun hada da wake wakin Hausa da wasanni na kwaikwayo da kallon su na sanan da ake daukan darusar rayuwa a cikin su da dai sauran su garuruwan jama'an salga masu zama sassan fadin kasar Ghana da ma wajenta ne suka koma gida domin halartar wannan gagarumar bukukuwa Mubarak Muhammad Shuaibu da ya jagoranci kwamitin da ta hassasa wasannin ya zanta da gaskiya TV inda yake cewa ko shakka babu kokarin da suke yi shine so zaburar da martabar al'adun su na salga eh abin da yankuro na shine wannan wasa kannin mun nan suna wasu wasanni kaman ba shi cikin al'adun al'adun mu mu hausawa shine ne mai kaga yare ta sa guntun wando guntun riga kaman tana tafiya salarin ta ne she na 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 duba nace a'a wanga abin ga ya kamata in kirkuro wani wasa na al'adun mu wasan Hausa in invite young boys su zo lokacin sun zo mai wadannan wasan nan she mu isar da sakon mu abin ne yasa na kirkuro wanga wasa kenan sakon ya shiga ya shiga don sun zo sosai wallahi sakon ya shiga kuma yanzu aka da nake magana da kinga na bannan FM da ni kuma in musu godiya don sun zo sosai wannan ina fatan da ikon Allah kuma sun ji sako na wasu mahalarta da suka hada da al'umman salga da ma baki da suka isa kallo sun yi tsokaci wallahi sai shi nayi farci korai da murna korai da naga wannan jama'a da ka zo wannan invitation for na ex organization na next year so if you wonder kuma but to movie na yi an yi but movie duniya ruka talent shine ya bo Aha, tare shi da naga mutawan jama'a sun ji dadi sun murna kwarai da ka kamu su wanga bo garin salaga idan na organization next time a few one publicity don tuna suna so sha'i musu gargajiya ne da da kama yafi na dance dance club club da ke zo wannan na shi ne best da wannan wasa da mun ji dadi kuma mun gode mun yi ba abin da nake da shi mu fadi ka danne do one da ke son e join one ga taro ina da kyau kwarai ina bude ma kananan yara ankali me shi na zaune maybe be san ga talent na ba ama wasan da aka yi ka danga ya gwada da me shi kuma ina son in koyu abin ga ka danka da me shi ya koyu isa na ce na ce da mun gode eh to godiya da muke muku dan saboda kun zo kun bar garin kuma yayi kyau garin kuma yayi dadi shi sa ba dogon magana da mu yi ba muna muku fatan alheri dun da kuke Allah ya dunga kiyaye ku kuma Allah ya kai mu sabon shekara sabon shekara ya fi aka ya balaga kamar ya yawa kenan shi sa na sai anan da in kara godiya ba dogon magana dan yi ba Allah ya kara kiyaye ku Allah ya shaki ku kuma muna mai godiya to sai dai ana sa ran za a ci gaba da gudanar da irin wannan bukukuwa a koci shekara domin karfafa dangantaka sakanin al'umman yankin salgadan da ma bunkasa al'adun su Hamza Adam Gaskiya TV daga Salga Ghana A ranar Laraban da ta shige ne 
shugaban kasar Ghana Nana Adu Danko Akufa Adu ya kaddamar da bukin sake bude cibiyar tarihin sohon shugaban kasar Ghana Dr. Kwame Nkrumah wacce talaku mai kudi fiye da Ghana CD miliyan 30 da nufin daukaka darajan sohon shugaban kasar Ghana na farko wanda ya shahara a fadin duniya akan akidar sa na fafutaka da kawar da mulkin mallakan Turawan Yamma daga nahiyar Afrika shugaban kasar Ghana yace I'm happy to be here this morning. Wannan gwarzo kuma shugaban akidan hadin kan kasashen Afrika wato Dr. Kwame Nkrumah yayi rayuwa abin misali a tsakanin al'umar sa kuma ya kamata a daraja tarihin sa yanda ya dace da darajar sa sabili da irin gagaru man gudunmuwa da ya bada a fannin yantar da kasashen Afrika daga mulkin mallaka na kasar Britaniya da kuma sauran kasashen yamma akan haka ya dace a gudanar da ayyukan gyaran fuska da inganta cibiyar tarihi na tsohon shugaban kasar Ghana Dr. Kwame Nkrumah bayan wannan a daura da wannan cibiyar tarihi dake akan babban titin a Tamils a birnin Accra dake daura da cibiyar al'adu na Art Center wacce ta hadada wato dakin adana littattafai na shugaban kasa da sashin hutawar baki da dakin cin abinci da zaurin M Mazanjiya na Freedom Hall da sashin ATM na biya ko fitar da kudi na zamani a cikin wannan nan aikin sake fasalin cibiyar tarihi na sohon shugaban kasar Ghana an gudanar da gyare-gyare akan kushewar sa da fadada sashin adana kayyakin tarihin sa inda maziyarta zuwa wannan cibiya suna jin muryar sa da ganin hotunar sa har ila yau an fadada sashin tarbon baki da sashin shakatawa da sashin sayar da kayyaki da sanya wata waka mai kamada na wato shararren benin nan na kasar Dubai watun Burj Khalifa sai dai wannan aikin gyare-gyare na cibiyar tarihin Dr. Kwame Nkrumah ya hada da kawata mutum-mutumin tagulla na tsohon shugaban kasar Ghana wanda aka lalata shi a yayin yi masa juyin mulki a cikin watan Fabrarun shekara 1966 wanda ya kifar da mulkin sa sai dai cibiyar tarihin sohon shugaban kasar Ghana Dr. Kwame Nkrumah tana samun maziyarta kimanin 90 a duk shekara kafin bullar cutar sarkewar numfashi na corona a cikin shekarar 2020 kafin rufe wannan cibiyar na tsawon shekara daya domin samun sukunin gudanar da ayyukan gyare-gyare inda a halin yanzu ake saran samun karin maziyarta da samun wato yawan masu yawon bude ido fiye da mutum miliyan 1 a kowace shekara sai dai shugaba Kufu Ado ya fada cewa gwamnati za ta gina cibiyoyin tarihi na mazanjiya guda shida wato wanda ake kira da Big Six da suka taka rawa a wurin samar da yancin kai na kasar Ghana a yankunan kasar Ghana daban-daban da nufin karawa kasar Ghana daukaka da kasancewa cibiyar tarihi da yawon bude ido a shiyar kasashen yammacin Afirka baki daya a nata bangaren yar sohon shugaban kasar Ghana Dr. Kwame Nkrumah wato Samia Nkrumah ta jinjinawa shugaban kasar Ghana na nadu dan kwakufu ado da aiwatar da wannan aikin inganta tarihi da samar da cibiya wanda ya dace da darajan Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Today I am so proud of Ghana and so proud of Ghanaians because we came together to do a good thing. Ta gode wa al'umar kasar Ghana da tsohon ma'aikaci kuma masani na tarihi wanda ke bada tarihin ayyuka nagari da kuma wanda wato Dr. Kwame Nkrumah ya gudanar a yayin da yake akan mulki da kuma ayyukan da Dr. Kwame Nkrumah ya gudanar a fadin nahiyar Afirka baki daya da ma kasashen nahiyar Turai da kuma wato irin gugurmaya da ya gudanar da bada shawarwari ga wasu shugabannin kasashen Afirka kafin samun yancin kai da kawar da mulkin mallakan Turawar Yamma daga nahiyar Afirka wannan aikin ya laku mai kudi dala miliyan 3 da rabi wanda bankin duniya ya dauki nauyin aiwatarwa a karkashin sashin gudanar da ayyukan raya muhimman wuraren tarihi da taimakon hukumar kula da raya wuraren tarihi na kasar Ghana tarihi yayi nuni da cewa gwamnatin sojin PNDC na tsohon shugaban kasar Ghana Jerry John Rawlings ce a cikin shekara 1991 ya assasa wannan cibiyan tarihi a filin Old Polo Grounds da ke da fadin kadada biyar da digo uku a wannan filin ne tsohon shugaban kasar Ghana na farko Dr. Kwame Nkrumah 
da abokan sa na jam'iyar CPP wayan da suka hada da Kojo Bosio da Kamla Agbeli Bedema da Achi Kisley Hayford da Krobo Dusei Dr. Kwame Nkrumah ya ayyana samun yancin kai na kasar Ghana a ranar 6 ga watan Maris na shekara 1957 a gaban cincirin don jama'a da ke murna da nuna goyon baya na samun yancin kai daga turawan mulkin mallaka na kasar Burtaniya Isa Mairago Jibril Abbas Gaskiya TV Plus a cibiyan tarihin Dr. Kwame Nkrumah a birnin Accra Ghana Yayin da damu nake kara kan kama manoma a jihar Kano na kokawa kan rashin jari sakamakon matsalar canjin kudi da suka fuskanta a watannin baya manoman dai sun ce wannan damunar taris kesu ne cikin mawuyacin hali na rashin kudaden da za su sayi taki da kuma magungunan kwari dan fuskantar aikin gona sun ce a lokacin canjin takardun naira sun shiga fargaba da gudun yin asarar takardun kudaden nasu wanda hakan yayi sanadin rushewar jarin da suka tanada dan yin aikin gona ya gaskiya lokacin da rashin jarin nan ifara tun daga canjin kudin nan da aka yi saboda canjin kudin nan ya taba wasu dai sun dan tattara sun ije to kuma sai ya zama musu in suka bai ya zama asara kuma to lokacin da suka fito da shi kuma da aka kai wasu kuma dai suka siyi abun ma da kudin nasu ba zai kai wannan abun da zasu yi wannan ba kuma shine gaba daya yana ma kan taba mu gaskiya saboda komai ta dalilin wannan canjin da aka yi komai yazo yayi tsada game da taki ma da muke siya yayi tsada da maganin feshi haka na kwari da muke siya duk yayi tsada ta dalilin wannan canjin kudi da aka yi gashi irin ma da zamu siya mu zo mu shuka a gonakan mu duk yayi kudi da Haruna Muhammad Gwami manomi ne dake karamar hukumar dawakin tufa a Kano ya ce manoma da dama ba su yi noma ba a wannan shekara sakamakon rashin kudade a hannu jari kan babu jari saboda an shiga matsala ta canjin nan canjin nan ya cinye wa mutane abin da ba kowa ke tunani ba Allah ya sani wallahi kwanda lockdown da canji saboda lockdown an samu taimako daga makwabcin ka na iya godo dawa tiya uku ko masara ko gero ko shinkafa ya aika ma da shi gida amma wannan canjin ya zamana ba a taimaki juna ba kuma babu kudin a hannun mutane so da ka an shiga matsala mutanen da zasu iya zama da abincin su ya kawo su cikin damuna so abincin su bai kawo su cikin damuna ba abincin ya kare saboda abincin za ka je ka gwada ka ba wa mai shago mai shago nan ya ba ka magi ya ba ka gishiri ya ba ka manja abincin za ka gwada ka kawo mai 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 daman shinkafa ma muna dan samun ta dai wadda tun da mu mutane ne na kawai ba sai mun ci shinkafa kullum ba to shine kusan karfin abincin mu to shinkafa ba mu damu ita ba amma dai duk wani abin da muke sarrafawa don tuwantan ya inganta to sai dai ka dauki masarar ka bayar a baka wancan abun so da ka jari kan gaskiya a wannan gabar wannan canjin kudi ya shigar da mutane cikin fitana ta rahin jari babu jari a yanzu magana ta gaskiya noma mai noma gona biyar to sai dai ya hakura saboda kada ya ji kunya ya dauki guda biyu ko uku da zai iya gyarawa biyun kuma ya ba masu so in suna so su ma su ji su gyara Dr Abdul Nasir Yola malami ne a fannin tattalan arziki a jami'ar dutsen jihar Jigawa ya ce karancin masu yin noman na iya zama babban barazana a tattalan arziki harkan noma a Nigeria harka ce mai muhimmanci sosai saboda har ma kai duba za mu ga tana ba da gudunwa sosai wajen ci gaban tattalan arzikin Nigeria musamman in muka duba za mu ga ka so saba in na kusan ayyukan ni da ake yi a Nigeria daga harkan noma suke kuma sannan ko a kwata din da ya wuce za mu ga cewa ita noma ita ta bada kashi 25 na contribution din da ta bada zuwa GDP din Nigeria saboda haka za ka ga kaman ci gaban tattalin arzikin Nigeria ka so 25 yana zuwa daga harkan noma ne amma su manoma suna fuskantar barazara kala kala a yanzu musamman yanayi yanda gwamnati ta cire abin da ake cewa subsidy wato tallafi akan harkar taki wanda shine gunshikan harkar noma sannan da wasu abubuwa wannan ya jawo manoma matsala sosai kuma a kusa kusan nan abin da ya sake addabar shi manoman shine rashin isashen jari 
wasidiwa sabu da yanayin fatara da kuma wasu policies na gwamnati da ake musamman harkar canja kudi da wasu abubuwa ya sa kaman jarin su ya kare sun kar yadda ka yake su sun siyar da su a farashi mai rahusa saboda su samu kudaden da za su samu su ci abinci da kuma hidimar yau da gobe wannan abubuwa da kuma abubuwa da yawa da suke faruwa kamar harkar can hanci da rashawa an ka duba ai gwamnati kaman ta yi policies wajen taimaka ma noma amma can hanci da rashawa da ya shiga ciki da aka ga kaman shi kaman wheat farming program da abubuwa da shi babban bankin Najeriya yayi wajen tallafa ma noman baya zuwa wajen su to wannan yana da hatsari sosai domin a yanzu zaka gani manoman ba sa iya yin noman wanda in ba sa yi hakan ya zai haifar da rashin aikin yi Dr Abdul Nasir ya kara da cewa matsalar rashin jari ga manoman matsala ce da ya kamata gwamnati ta maida hankali domin gujewa fadawa matsalar tsadar kayayyakin abinci a nan gaba Anas Ramadan gaskiya TV Plus daga Kano a Najeriya Ziyara na daga cikin jerin abubuwa da mahajjata har ma da masu gudanar da umura kan yi a Madina kafin su karasa maka a mafi yawan lokuta bayan ga ziyarar Rodolf yayin halitta ana ziyarta wasu wurare da annabi ya bar tarihi kamar Masjid Al-Quba Masjid Iblatani da filin Uhuru da Rijar Gar bishiyar Rabino da annabi ya shuka da makamantan su a lokacin da muka isa filin Uhud a rana shida ga Zulhija duk da dai an watse zuwa maka domin gudanar da aikin haji mun tarar da ana zagayawa da wasu yan jihar Kaduna inda wani dalibi Abdurrahman Muhammad da ke jami'ar Madina ke zagawa da mahajjata ya bayyana tarihin Uhudu wa inna insha Allah ta'ala bikum lahiqun Nas'alu Allah lana Da miki ana wana chache makabratu shuhada Maana makabratu shahida ila haka kashi arana uhut Wa ina kaburbura sushina kaburbura guda sabayin Mutane guda sabayin mutan sabayin deki wana waji ayanzo haka Wana kama mina miki ya gani bazi po yuba Akwe kaburbura kama mutane guda biyu Na paruko shine na guda biyu na kwese na hamza bina abdul mutalib Akuma abdullahi ibn jahash Da sana kaburbura su atareke Sana kuma agabaga wana babanka bari chanka to baba Shine ragowa sauran sahabai guda 68 wanda damar jimillan mutanen sahabai kashi a ranar yakin Uhud guda 70 ne guda biyu ga su na anan guda 68 ga su ne daga gaba wannan shine na ake cewa kabartar ashuhada kamar da muke gani sannan annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya kasance na ziyarta wa innan bayan Allah a nan sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya ce wa innan yan uwan mu ne kuma wa innan bayan Allah yakin Uhud ba zai boyi ba kamar na Allah ba mu labarin shi suna mana ma bushara ne cewa da ni'ima suna bushara suna bana cewa ina ma za mu zo zuwa ga wannan irin ni'imar da suke ciki na aljanna Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ya ba su a takace kenan shi ma mala abdullah masani tarihi a madina ya ba mu labarin rijiyar gar wurin da manzo Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam yace rijiya aljanna ce Allah ya nuna ma manzon shi sallallahu alaihi wasallam lokacin da suka taso a matsayin matafi ne da shi da tawwagar shi manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sai manzon Allah ya ce na yi mafarki zan tashi akan wata rijiya ruwan ta ruwan aljanna ne sai ga rijiyan nan wanda ake kiranta biru gars biru gars wanda ya kirkiro ta kakannun sa'd ibn khaythama wanda yake shine ya tarabi manzon Allah a kuba'u wanda manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam shine ya zauna a gidan shi wanda yake lokacin ta majlisa ne Sa'd ibn Khaythama lokacin ta ba tare da iyalai ba ko da iyayen shi yake akan manzo Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya ba ma sayyiduna Aliyu dan Abu Talib Allah ya kara mai yadda surukin manzo Allah kanin shi dan shi masoyin shi habibin shi ya mai wasiyar cewa an Allah ya dauki amana shi a wanke shi da ƙarya bakwai daga ruwan rijiyan nan wanda ake kiranta biru gars anan a madina garin manzon Allah gidan manzon Allah bayan ziyara dai sai zuwa maka domin sauke umara ko aikin hajji baraka bashir gaskiya tv daga madina a saudi arabia